Hello friends, in this presentation we'll solve one more GATE PSAS question. This question was asked in GATE 2018 and the concepts involved in this question are functions, pointers and strings. Okay, let's start with the main method. We have uh, two strings that is I have declared strings in the form of character pointer str1 equal to high and str2 equal to by. And we are having a function called str1 and str2. So str1 and str2 is nothing but the base address of this particular string. Assume the strings high is stored like this, like uh, separated by the address 1000, 1001 and 1002 and with a null character at the end. That is, str will now contain the base address, that is the address of the value h, that is 1000. And the address of this str1 is in turn 3000. Even pointers will also have address, right? So str1 is a pointer. Now, that pointer is uh, pointing to the address 1000. But in turn, str1 will also have an address. Similarly, str2 by string is been stored something like this, and the base address of this string is 2000, and str2 contains the base address of this particular string, and the address of this pointer itself is 4000. Now, what is f fun one of str1 comma str2? It is nothing but the fun one of 1000 comma 2000. These are the addresses. Now control goes to the function definition that is fun1. As we have passed address then it would be appropriate that I should declare pointers. So now star s1 and star s2. So what are star s1 and star s2? Star s1 and star s2 are character pointers. That means they are capable of storing the address of some other character variables, ca some other character data. Uh, now what will happen we, because of this uh, function call s1 will contain address 1000 and s2 will contain address 2000 so s1 contain the value data present in s1 itself 1000 data present in s2 itself 1000 but if you dereference s1 and s2 then you will get that particular data and we have one more local variable star temp that is a character pointer temp which is capable of storing the address of a character value now temp equal to s1 so what is temp equal to s1? Now temp will contain value 1000. So s1 contains 1000. Now temp equal to s1 will make temp as 1000. Now temp equal to s1 and s1 equal to s2. So s1 is equal to s2 equal to s2 contains 2000. So two, uh, s now s1 will also contain 2000. That's what s1 equal to s2 means. Now s2 equal to temp. What is s2? s2 is 2000. Now, temp is 1000. S2 equal to temp is nothing but 2000 will be overridden with 1000. So, the address of S1 and S2 has been swapped. So, S1 and S2 are local variables. But, yeah, even, but they are pointing to address. But if you observe, they are not changing the data. They are not uh, overriding the data present in the location. They are just swapping the address. That means, S1 and S2 values are swapped but not the data pointed to s1 and s1 uh, s2 is not swapped data is not referenced and swapped just the addresses are swapped so if just addresses are swapped then the strings s1 and s2 remain unaffected that is a catch here so after the execution of this function then control goes to the next line after this function call that is printf will be executed the output will be normally high and by will be printed why because data has not been swapped just as addresses are swapped. Now we have fun2 of address is char1 and address is char2. So here, if you observe, we are passing the address of not the uh, strings. We are passing the address of this pointer. See, see str1 and str2 means that we are passing the base addresses of this point, the base address of the string itself, address of the strings we are passing. But address of str1 and ad address of str2 means we are passing the address of this pointer. So, which is nothing but fun of what is the address of str1 3000 as address of str2 pointer is 4000 so 3000 and 4000 would be passed now if you observe these are the addresses of a pointer then if you are calling with, uh, if you are store uh, who will be able to store the address of a pointer a double pointer is capable of storing the address of a pointer so as you are call, uh, passing the address of the pointers itself then you must declare uh, double pointers in the function definition. Now control goes to this particular line after function call f1 f1 2. So we have declared a temporary variable star temp. Temp, so what is the star star s1 means? For example, star star s1. So what does it mean? So I will write star star s1 as star of 
star s1 I, will, I, uh, I can write this right so star of what is s1 in fact s1 is nothing but 3000 right s1 value is 3000 star of star 3000 if you uh, can you tell me what is pointing to the value 3000 at the address 3000 we are having one more address called 1000 okay so star of 3000 is nothing but 1000 similarly star star s2 is nothing but star of star s2 which indirectly means star of star 4000 now what is present in 4000 at 4000 we have one more address call so what is a point to the data present in the location 4000 so we have 2000 okay so star of 1000 is nothing but the base address of the s1 the base address that is h it will point to the string str1 it will point in the string str2 okay so whatever so you point to uh, whatever changes that you make to this location 3000 will be indirectly reflect the address of 1000 that is nothing but str1 so whatever the changes you made at this location 4000 will be directly will be indirectly linked to 2000 that is nothing but str2 so we have temporary uh, variable temp so temp equal to star st star s1 okay that is star s1 so assume as i have already said s1 is nothing but 3000 so 3000 is nothing but is pointing to 1000 so star temp equal to star s1 means nothing but temp equal to 1000 and str2 will be overridden with one is nothing but indirectly will contain str1 so str1 address will be overridden with str2's address that is what is str2's address 2000 okay now star2 equal to temp star2 is nothing but str2 str2 is nothing but temp what is temp 1000 so so if you observe str1 and str2 are swapped so if str1 and str2 are swapped so now what will happen str1 will be overridden with 2000 and str2 is overridden with 1000 so now what will happen as uh, if one character if, if one address is changed then it will point to and if you try to access str2 it will print in a sequence that is str2 will now print by str2 will now print high and str1 will now print by because we have made str1 as 2000 and str2 as 1000 so 1000 is nothing but high 1000 uh, represents the address of the string high so one by one all characters will be printed so 2000 is will represent the address of by so that will be represented so now if you uh, after execution of that function control comes to this line that is line number 28 now by high will be printed so the catch here is that in this function the actual addresses are not swapped just the local variables are swapped okay that just the local variables are swapped but the actual addresses are not swapped addresses are swapped but s1 or s2 are local variables they are destroyed and, and they have not affected but here the actual base address of each character uh, the, because of this star s1 equal to star s2 the base address of each string str1 and str2 are exchanged so that each string will be point to now because of this str2 will, will point to str1's value and str1 will point to str2 that's why here output will be by high but here it will be high by only that's it so let me execute this program for you high by for the first one and by high for the second function call okay friends this is it for now and thank you for watching this presentation see you in the next presentation bye bye